So we're here with the Realtek, and uh, this is the USB Type C mini dock solution. So yes. who are you? Uh, I'm Jonathan, and uh, uh, I'm the Realtek PN, uh, who is in charge of the USB Type C and also the USB Hub. So this is USB Type C. It does uh, VGA. Yes. And uh, USB Type C again. Yeah, sure. And, uh, and then there's also a USB Type A. USB Type A yes. uh, 3.0? Yeah, 3.0. Okay. And uh, how about HDMI? You can do two also? Yeah, we can do it also. We just uh, replace this VGA, VGA, uh, VGA interface. Yeah. So uh, what's on the board here? Okay. You can see the, the slide here. So we have the uh, RTD 2166 and the RTS 5411. Okay, and the, the final one is uh, RTS 5403. So how does it work? Okay, uh, actually uh, the Type C will our our Type C port controller will communicate with the upstream devices, upstream the host. Okay, yeah. then we can connect with the downstream devices such like a USB pen drive, and uh, we can transmit the video to a monitor through so, so this VGA interface, and uh, also we can connect to uh, another Type C devices such like a Type C uh, power adapter or the Type C uh, pen drive. And uh, right here it says. Uh, this is the USB to VGA only. Yep. And it can do up to this kind of resolution. And this is the this uh, is mini dock. Yeah. This the, this mini dock actually this mini dock include the VGA and the VGA interface and the, the USB C and also the USB A. So what kind of CPU is it? Is it CPU? Yeah. Or is, what no, is it? No. What is it? Okay. Uh, actually, we we. Uh, the main function is our USB hub, and we, we put uh, another deep, uh, display port to VGA translator here, which is the RTD 2166. And uh, we use this RTS 5403 to communicate with the upstream, upstream Type-C host and uh, also the downstream Type-C devices. But what is the protocol? Uh, how does it work, Type-C? Okay, it works with the... Uh, the the communication flow is start by the CC pin. We call it a communication channel. Okay, then once the communication channel uh, was established, so it will uh, go into the PD controller. Then the PD controller will do in the uh, Type C protocol. So it's Type C protocol, yep. and is it the translator of the protocol to something else? Yes. Is it analog, digital, something? Uh, only digital. Everything is digital, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's translating the protocol of USB Type C to something else. Yeah, yes. And uh, very fast. Yeah, it's very fast because the three point. Uh, actually, the Type C uh, is the spec of the USB three point one, so the uh, read write speed is very fast. That's, ten ten yeah. gigabit. Uh, uh, this one is five five gigabit. Five gigabit. Yes. yes. But USB Type C can do ten gigabit, yes, right? Yes. Yes. How can Correct. you make ten gigabit version? Uh, we have to change another hub. Because this hub is uh, was uh, only the speed is only the five gigabit. So this is a Microsoft phone. Uh, this is the Windows Continuum solution. Yes. And what is this? Okay, this one is we call it a, a Type C monitor. Yeah, because we combine our Type C dock. Okay, here this area with a scaler. This area. So you see, we just connect with uh, this Type C port through this Type-C cable to the uh, uh, Microsoft mobile phone. Okay? Yeah. So how about, uh, this is a new market, right? Yes. And uh, there's a competitor, is a, a TI and Cypress. Uh, Who's yeah. the leader right now? Right now, I think we are the leader. <laughs> You're the leader. So... Uh, yeah, because because we, we uh, our, our chip is uh, the uh, high integrated compared to the TI and Cypress. Because Cypress only do the uh, protocol part, but they don't have the uh, data, da uh, data part. Okay, so, but we do, do, we do both. You do both yeah, in one yeah. chip? Yeah, we, we How do you know chip. how to do this? Uh, Is this a specialty of a real tech? Yes, yes, because, I, because we, uh, we, actually, uh, we, we design the, the hub first, so we have the experience of the hub design. So we just move forward to the Type C port controller. So that's why we can get the high integrated chip. How's it? How, how does it work to make a hub? Uh, USB hub, right? Yeah, yeah. It's how does it work? How do it work? Okay. Uh, actually, the share the share the data with the upstream. We uh, actually with the host to the old devices. So uh, the inside in uh, the inside the hub we come uh, we design the. We design a file chip. We call it physical. Okay, so we can uh, receive the data. Then we 
we transmit to, to the host. Yeah. So, so is it possible you can have many more solutions and only uh, this? Yeah, we, we can. You uh, already have many? We, we already have many because the Type-C has a lot of the applications, such like uh, this Type-C monitor and also the Type-C mini dock. Yeah. Okay. This mini yeah. dock have uh, only three ports, right? Yes. yes. But uh, do your customer already implement many more ports, different things? Yeah, yeah. Already because, do. Yeah, because the, uh, because we have the Type C dock in, in in another in another another side. Yeah. If you yeah. Okay. No problem. Let's check it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, are you talking about the so what is this? Okay, this one is the Type C dock. Okay, you can see this is the upstream port, right? Yeah. Okay, it connects to the, this laptop. This laptop has all, uh, also has the Type C port. This is my laptop. Yeah, this. Oh, that is a smaller one. Yeah, there's a smaller one. Yeah. So. so it, so it connects there, okay? Yeah, and uh, you see, it transmits the, the video okay, to this monitor, and uh, we connect a USB pen drive here, so it can also uh, read and write the, the data inside. So this, this dock has a lot of stuff going on, is yeah, the Ethernet? Yeah, Ethernet. How many USB? Uh, one, actually, two. seven port. Uh, actually, we, we call it seven port, because uh, li like this LAN port, we use the USB to, to the LAN. Yeah, the total is seven port. Seven port. Yeah. What are we looking at here? Okay, we uh, fifty four eleven is our hub. Okay, we got three hubs. Three hubs. Yeah. Why do you need three hubs? Yeah, because it's a very powerful dock. We we just want to show our customer what what we can provide to our customer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So three three hubs. Yeah. And uh, some other bunch of stuffs. Yes. Yes. Uh, fifty two oh three. I think you you guys already see in the mini dock, right? Yeah. So it do the communication to the Type C port, and we also have the 5200. 5200 actually is also a Type C port controller, but it's a uh, our full, uh, full function one, so it can do the also the video communication. Yeah. And uh, you say it's fast? Yeah, it's very fast. It's this the one, fastest yeah. one. Our uh, our latest one is 5421. Okay, this one is we got we got a we got a BC award golden award in this coming hex. Who's BC? BC is best choice. Best choice. Yeah. And uh, so is native uh, Type C support. Yeah. Is it a hub? Yeah. It's a in, inside is a super one generation two hub. So the rewrite speed is very very fast. You can see here. Yeah. Eight hundred megabyte per second. Yes. Read and write. From a smartphone. Um. I think because typically right now the 3.0 uh, the rewrite speed is 280, so you can see it's more two times faster than the uh, 3.0. Two times faster than yeah. 3.0. Yeah, because 3.0 is 280 rewrite speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, 10 gigabit per second is possible. Yeah, this on one is phone. yeah, this one is actually yeah. 10 gigabit per second. Yeah, yeah, sure. Are you doing anything with Thunderbolt? Uh, actually no, because the Thunderbolt is the such a it's a protocol controlled by Intel. Intel, they don't give to anybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very interesting. But USB Type C in the future can go faster than 10 gigabit. We think so, but uh, I, we think the USB IF may have the next generation of the USB spec. Yeah, we are also looking forward for it. All right. Is this also the same or different? This one is actually is fifty four twenty one. It's a it's, it, it is a generation two hub. Uh, what is this port here? Okay, this one is power because we got the power in uh, Two power. Uh, yeah, just for the yeah, we only use uh, power. Uh, we only use that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. It's, it's, it's All right. So there's a lot of uh, USB Type C maybe yeah. going to happen in the future. Right now, it's only Microsoft. Right now, actually, uh, the Apple. Apple also has the MacBook. The, Only the, MacBook, yeah. Yeah, and MacBook and the Google has the Chromebook, and the Microsoft. Also, my my cell phone, my Google cell phone. This is Nexus. also the Type C. This is a Nexus. Yeah, uh, Nexus 5X. 5X. Yes. But there's no display output. No display output. Yeah. No right. USB hub. No USB hub, yeah. Only charging. Only charging, yeah. That's not very interesting. <laughs> yeah, they only take the this connector. Why they don't have more than charging? Uh, do, do they have a real tech CPU in a phone? No. To control this or no? No. Who's making the SOC here to uh, connect with you so you can do everything? I, I what think. What they need? Uh, actually, right now the, the uh, mobile phone platform, uh, the CPU maker, uh, actually is MTK. Or, uh, Qualcomm. or Qualcomm, yeah, or Qualcomm, yeah. So, so Qualcomm can support everything. 
uh, but they only do it with Microsoft. I, I heard they, they have such a plan to in, in, uh, to embed the, the Type C in, inside their, their SOC. CPU. Yeah, their SOC. So MediaTek, Qualcomm, yeah, maybe yeah. Spectrum. Yes, yes. And these guys, they need to support everything from the phone. Yeah. Otherwise, they're only charging. Yes. And then uh, that means it will be very, very popular on Android, maybe, yeah. to have uh, crazy docs with many, many solutions. Yes, yes. And Realtek would be the leader. Yeah, yeah. So how does a customer come and work with you? How does it work? Okay, actually, because the Type-C docking is uh, quite uh, a little bit complex, uh, complex. So actually, we will discuss with our customer uh, their application, what they, what they need, and then we will give them the advice to suggest them uh, how many ports is the optimized? Can be optimized. So uh, we are happy then to d design uh, the hardware, also the hardware and the, the firmware. Yeah. How much power is needed for a dock? Okay. Uh, actually, I think this this dock can output uh, at least 60 watts. Single 60 port. Watt. Yeah. With a single type of port. So that's a uh, five volt. Uh, uh, no. Uh, 60 uh, means the 20 volts with the three amperes. 3A, 20 volts. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of power. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Because Can it do lower power? Yeah, sure. How? Uh, and still have a lot of performance? Yeah, because the, the, the Type-C has the spec of the, we call it PD, and the PD has the PD capability inside the PD controller, so it was customized. So we will ask our customer how much PD profile they want. Okay, so we will put the, put that into the PD controller. And your customer, is there many customer? Is it like many company want to do this already? Yeah, yeah, you can or see only this. a few. Yeah, this one is already the real product. This is Type C Type C monitor. Yeah, yeah, it's used already use our solutions. The Philips. Yeah, the Philips. And uh, Type C in there. Oh, I I pushed the wrong place. Okay, okay. cool. And uh, so. The monitor guys, but also the duck. Yeah, also the duck, duck guy. Manufacturers. Yeah, yeah. But uh, many already considering, or many doing it. Uh, because only few. because right now the, the PC market uh, adopted the the Type C. I think the speed is uh, slower than we expect. So the the duck solution also the the train is also very slow. But the monitor monitor maker they they think they have to uh, include already. Yeah, yeah, they already to be future proof. Yes, yes. All right. So uh, uh, is Realtek part of Type C uh, consortium? You in influence how they make Type C. Or is it perfect? What do you think about Type C? Is everything is perfect? Is great? Yeah, we we actually uh, Type C can provide the, the customer several scenarios, such like this, this one. You can uh, when you go home, you can connect your laptop with your Type C monitor. At that time, you can control your laptop by the monitor, and the, at the same time, you can charge the, your laptop. I think this scenario is very uh, very convenient. Yeah. Right. Yeah.